Team iPhone is ready. Team iPhone is ready? Team Apple is ready. Yo, man. Um, We are back at it. It feels like it's been such a long time, but it's only been two weeks. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we're here. What number is it? Welcome to episode 34 of the Where's Brunch Podcast. Hey. 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 We hype, y'all. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or good morning, good afternoon. How are you guys? Welcome to the Where's Brunch Podcast. Tell them what to do. And if you are not already subscribed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as as follow us on Instagram, at Where's Brunch. We're on TikTok, and you can stream us on all streaming platforms, at Where's Brunch. And we love to know that you listen. Please leave us a comment. Um, tell us what you liked, what you heard, what you enjoyed about this episode. How you doing, man? I think I'm full. Oh, man. Because we ate. We had some chicken sammies. Yeah, we had some sand we had We had a crazy day. To, not a crazy day, it but a, it got a little tense at, at times. Yeah, it was a day. It was a little standoffish at times. It was standoffish? It was standoffish at times. You think? Yeah. Well, alone, let's let's cheers, okay, man. Let's, let's toast cheers. first, man. We, we ready to just take off. I feel like I haven't done this in so long. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what, what do I usually do at this time? Drink. Mm. <laughs> cheers, baby. Cheers, my love. I like that Lionel Richie t shirt. That's dope. Man. Hey, the best to ever do it. Do it. <laughs> Lionel Richie. Hello. Hello. And it says hello on the back, y'all. Is it me or looking for? Yeah, it got a little it got a little standoffish at times today. You think? Yeah, we we um got out today and yes. our we had to run a couple of errands. Yes. And one of the errands was to <laughs> go to Verizon <laughs> to get the family bundle. <laughs> Shout out to the family bundle. Yes, 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 yes. So so Trina. if you guys don't wait, hold on. Hold Go on. ahead, baby. If you guys don't know already, we are newly with married people, right? Mm-hmm. And we ain't all the way combined on everything <laughs> in, uh, in every way, Get shape, there. or form. So we're in the process of combining. We are in the process of bundling, combining, saving money, mm-hmm. making fiscal. Financially, fiscal smart decisions. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Fiscally responsive. Fiscally responsible, responsible decisions. <laughs> yeah, that part. Yeah. So that's what we did today. Y'all know we got a little spreadsheet that we yeah. combining and stuff, and you know we're working, we're working through all that stuff. So we, we don't listen. We got married in October. Don't judge us, all right? Whatever. We do Hell what we want. No, don't judge We've been us. having a good time all this, all right? Some of y'all still ain't married up y'all situations, and y'all been married about twenty five years. So don't talk to us, please. You want to go off on the people, baby? <laughs> I mean. I was just saying, we love y'all. Yeah, you know, we love y'all. But yeah, so we're newlyweds, and this is step one of the some somewhat, somewhat. right? Yeah, I guess so, right? So yes. we we had to go to um, Verizon today. So Trina had Verizon Mobile. I had AT and T Mobile, and then I had that Verizon files here at the house. So mm-hmm. get a flyer in the mail, and it's like, hey, bundle up, save money. If you bundle up everything together, you save money. So I called, I chatted, mm-hmm. I called again, mm-hmm. three different people on the phone and online, mm-hmm. three different sets of numbers. <laughs> I need numbers, y'all. Ugh. So we said, let's go to Verizon to the store. Mm-hmm. Let's take my, my data sheet that I collected all this data from, <laughs> and we're going to go up there, and we're going to find out what the truth is. Mm-hmm. One of these sets of numbers is going to work out. Yes. And the girl was very helpful. She was. She was really cool. She was great. She, she was, was really good. She was good. And so the, the tense standoffish moments, though, <laughs> is that oh, Trina is an iPhone person. Ta-da. Uh, and I am a Galaxy person. Wah, wah. I, didn't, I didn't make no noise when I said <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> I ain't make no noise about your little iPhone. I'm sorry. Hit the Tinkerbell. Save nah, the man. I don't even want it. I don't want Tinkerbell for me. Nah, I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? Galaxy, Galaxy kind of like, yeah. The end of the world? Yeah. <laughs> so she says, 
get new phone, upgrade everything and do all these, you know, you can upgrade your phones and get more money off. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, it's a sweet deal. And we're not here to fucking do a commercial for Verizon, but no, it was no. a sweet deal. Uh-huh. So we ended up leaving there with new phones, yes. watches, oh yeah, <laughs> all types of stuff. And we cut over a hundred dollars off of our monthly yeah. bill with all things combined. Yeah. So we save money by combining everything together as a bundle. But we definitely represented our, our teams. Oh, yes. Team we did. iPhone was over there. Hey. And the girl helping us ended up being Team a Galaxy. And she was really trying to take it easy on you with the features. <laughs> she says, well, she's like, actually, his phone, this phone that he's getting can charge your phone through. Did she say through Wi Fi? No, she just said, like, I can put my phone on your phone and, and you can charge. charge your, you can charge your phone on my phone. I was so pretty my gangster. phone can get on top of his phone and hump it for a little bit. Sounds while. about right. <laughs> iPhone, <laughs> iPhone people always hopping on something. <laughs> Whatever. Hopping on our technology. Whatever. Hopping on stuff. Whatever. I got you. You good though? Your your phone's up. You good right now? Yes. Cause I, cause I'll I got, watch. You know, I'm, everything of mine was ready. No, I'm talking about your your phone. Um, you got another juice? You know what? Because you want to get on top of it. No, you yours need, need to get on top of mine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, whatever. But notice, like, the technology, my phone was all done. And she was like, oh, you can have to take yours with you, and you can bring it back, and, and all of these things. Because and ain't nothing in that shit. <laughs> Ain't nothing. It's just, it's, yeah, it's just, yours is done already. It's, not, it's nothing to it. There's a lot on my phone. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm just messing with you, Ain't man. nothing in that shit. <laughs> really? Really? Oh, man. Oh, um, so, yeah, the war the war continues on. So now we got watches on top of that. Yeah, I, mean, now you- I mean, my watch is a little bit more high tech than yours, but it's cool, though. It's cool. Yours Why is nice. It's dope. gotta be more high tech than mine. I mean, the the band alone. Don't talk. Listen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> listen. Your I little don't appreciate band. This shit. Okay, so the factory <laughs> iPhone band is. You know, I got a small wrist, and it's not really. You know, it's not clicking to the body. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm I'm home. I'm on Amazon. I'm looking for a case. Because the iPhone, the new iPhone 14 is glass on it's the top. It's glass. The top and the bottom. They went back to the all glass shit. So now I need a whole case, <laughs> whole case to protect my shit. Because I dropped my phone a lot. So, <laughs> mind you, the other phone is in pristine condition. Because yeah, I bought did good. protectors. I bought lens protector. I, brought, I put screen yeah, protectors did. on. I don't play when it comes to the phone. So, when we get off of here, I'll order the phone. The I'll case. Find, I mean, the case, I'll find a new um band a watch yeah for the watch and you know whatever yeah it's dope though man. it's dope it's nice you know technology wise i got, also got uh, three months free apple fitness that's dope so i'm gonna check that out and see what they're doing there yeah and these things are good i mean you can you can monitor your steps and your, your heartbeat heart rate and all your heart rate and, and all that stuff get your it's rings supposed. in for the day and get your steps and you said rings yeah oh well, iPhone has like this thing where you get rings. What is the ring? The represent? rings is like you you conquer so many levels. Oh, okay, so it's like um, it's like fitness challenges. Yeah. Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah, That's yeah. dope. Like That's what's so up. So many steps in and all that kind of stuff. That's good, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So- we we at home like in our career fields. Yes. We'll just say that in our career you fields. typically can't have Bluetooth devices yes. inside of the office, but we pretty much work from home now. More than fifty percent. Right, and yeah. I'm a hundred percent, and she's here more than fifty. Like she said, more than fifty percent. So it's like now you can't have the the, the fun gadget. You know what I'm saying? I should have had this years ago. I'm glad it's the time is right right now. Yeah, man. Yeah, she's she's for those listeners because this is an audio podcast. She's posing for the camera, so <laughs> our YouTubers are getting the extra uh. treat. What's good though? Uh, not a damn thing. You know, we've had a week of rain, and uh, I ordered a new rain jacket. And what the hell happened? The rain stopped. Summer's canceled. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, summer has been canceled. Summer solstice, which is what June twenty first, mm-hmm. um, is supposed. To, no, it's the longest day of sunlight, the longest day of sunlight, right? Yeah. For the year, it was cloudy and raining all it day. It was a a a duck bucket. 
I will, I'll say that. A duck bucket. <laughs> it was a duck I bucket like that. of rain. And it was gloomy. Ugh. And it was just nasty wet. And you needed your rain boots. You needed your rain coat, umbrella. I, at one point, I had on a sweater and a scarf this week. Because I didn't know Yo, which, which way She I went to going. work one day, y'all. <laughs> this... this <laughs> Negro here had on a, a long sweater, a sweater, a scarf. <laughs> it, I, it's just how I felt. It was like sixty degrees out, probably. It was yes, chilly. It was chilly for the summertime, but mm-hmm. she had on a sweater and a scarf. That's y'all. because I also knew that it was going to be cold in the building because you know the AC is on freeze right now. Yo, that's how those offices be though. Sometimes, <laughs> like in my my old office, I had a hoodie that just stayed on the back of my chair. Yeah. Like just just leave it here. Yeah, because you're gonna be freezing. You're gonna be freezing. There was a time when I even had fingerless gloves at my desk so that I could click, 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 click on the left side. And my hands are cold. My wife is special. I love you though. <laughs> you are something else. I love you too. Fingerless gloves. I have fingerless job. gloves. At least you gotta be fashionable if you're gonna do it. And my hands are gonna be warm and they're gonna be moisturized. How has the summer been in your neck of the woods, listeners? And viewers of the Where's Brunch podcast. It has been raining and just not really that hot here in the DMV. Yeah. Shot to shit. Shot to shit. (laughs) You're good. You're in a good mood. I love it. (laughs) She is hilarious, yo. Yeah, so we'll make the most of it, though. Yeah. It could be worse. It could be. I mean, we ain't got no... Um, hurricanes and tornadoes and all those other kind of things happening over here. So we'll take it. Hopefully the weather's good when my parents come. They're coming yeah. to visit. Shout out to them. Yay, the in-laws are coming to hang out. Yep. Yay. My boy has a, um, my guy has a, a Airbnb here in my building. So mm-hmm. they get to come stay here in the building in their own apartment, which mm-hmm. is pretty dope. Yeah. You know I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully the weather cooperates and we can hang out on the rooftop and stuff. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Yeah, we plan on cooking out and stuff. Yeah, going to you know hang out. going to hang out with them. Some dogs, some burgers. Yes. Some you chicken. Know, some chicken. You know what I'm saying? A little oh. cedar plank. What y'all made? Okay. What do y'all... Go ahead with that. Do you bougie fry your, your cookout? Bougie fry? Bougie fry? Do you do cedar plank salmon? That's that is that is kind of <laughs> like the sign of some bougie shit when it comes to black cookout, right? Some cedar, cedar plank, plank salmon. salmon. <laughs> a little lobster curl. Do people put shrimp, shrimp on kebab, the grill? Kebabs. Oh, kebabs. Kebabs. We should put that on the on the menu. Some shrimp kebabs. Okay. Cook those last. You no, know, Wegmans do whole kebab things. They already. Just, Oh, you can order them and they you put get, them together for you, they, or they just sell you them. Walk up and they're put together. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, beef, shrimp. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought those from, from there before. Yeah, and then you can glaze it with your own bar- sauce and the oil. Sauce. And just, you know, you can do all of that. So, do you bougie fry your your cookouts? Because I feel like every cookout doesn't need the same old stuff. Like, eh, we could pass on potato salad. Who? Do we really need that? Who? We just like. You always want to throw out a whole bunch of it anyway because everybody ain't eat it. Potato salad is delicious. I like potato salad. Oh, I can look past that. Huh? I can look past that. Uh, you don't eat potato salad. Right. A great, or macaroni salad. A great avocado corn salad would be great. Oh, you would booge fire to <laughs> hell. This nigga said an avocado corn salad at the cookout. <laughs> at the cookout, yeah. I ain't mad at it because yeah. I know you're going to eat it. And I know, like, Tiffany would eat it probably. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's good. We do have, like, some vegetarian yeah. friends. Yeah, you need to have that's some like options. Other but than, you can have both, baby. And you could do, like, a great, you could do a grilled, um, what do you call it? A grilled cauliflower with, like, a herb and butter blend as, like, a nice cauliflower grilled option for, for vegetarian folks as well. That's a good thing. What do you? How do you do that? What do you mean? So you just you put do, a whole cauliflower, that, just put it on there? Yeah, you take the, the you cut base it in half. Out, take the base out, yeah, and you put it on some foil. You put it on the grill. You put the butter and herbs and stuff on top, and then you just grill it for a little bit. Flip it over so it can get a little get the grill marks on it. Mm. But you start it on the foil with the butter and stuff, and you flip to it to get in. the flavor in it. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that sounds challenging. I'm with it. You with it? And then yeah. we can do some grilled vegetables, like you know, I mean, some grilled fruit. Like maybe some grilled pineapples, some grilled peaches. This is getting real bougified right now. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good thing sometimes. Yeah, it's it's good to try different stuff. Yeah, and just have like a, some options because everybody not, don't eat meat. That's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, and like chicken sometimes, you know, we just, 
We ain't been working right with chicken all the time lately. Well, we had a little we experience had some with chicken some leg quarters that chicken were not leg agreeing quarters. with us. We didn't. They didn't like us. We liked it, but they didn't like it us. They didn't like us. Both times. Gotta make some chicken though. Uh, yes, you gotta make some chicken. Come on, man. We not. We okay. not gonna abandon okay, the well, fundamentals, uh, but the, we can add some. We can add some things. I some like. Things. I like grilled vegetables. I like doing or, or the grilled, you know, cauliflower bloom or something. And of course, like like I said, the the corn salad mm. with avocado in it. Mm-hmm. You know, I think those are some great additions. Then you know to the the regular schmegular stuff. I ain't mad at that. Yeah, yeah we play around with some stuff, whatever, and see how it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the parents being here, and um, hopefully, I don't know if we'll do any fireworks or stuff like that for the fourth. Um, and Alexandria does something weird with fireworks. They do fireworks the whole damn weekend. We ain't yeah, got it's like a bunch of different days or whatever, but yeah. you know, crowds and stuff like that. Oh, oh I don't want to go to it. Can't we just go watch it on the roof? I don't know if we'll be able to see it on the roof, but we can try. Didn't we see it on the roof before? I don't know. It, it's it was kind of like funky trying to see from the angle, but yeah. but we're not gonna bore y'all with that stuff, man. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Absolutely, In-law, it's always a good time to see the family. We're gonna have to shout out to family. Yeah. Um. So I got some. I took some notes over here. Some things that we can talk about. Uh, some some stuff that happened this week. Pharrell. Uh, Shout out to Pharrell, yo. Okay. Round of applause to the kid. Okay. The the, the fashion show for Louis Vuitton. Yes. The men's that was the men's collection, correct? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. The men's. He crushed that. I only it. saw clips. I didn't even watch it from. Oh, we should watch it from beginning to end. We should watch it from. It's like twenty something minutes or something. Like it's on YouTube now. Yeah, it's on YouTube. And it was star studded. Yeah, it was dope. Everybody was there. Everybody. Rihanna in her full baby belly. Yup. Was there with with ASAP. With ASAP. Uh, Beyonce and uh, Jay Z were there. Hove performed. Hove he performed. Even, he even performed we, with Pharrell. We don't come back to that. Let's okay. come back to that. We're gonna come back to that. Yeah. Okay. And um. The clips, the uh, no malice and um, Pusha T mm-hmm. walked the runway. Walked the runway. That was dope. That's dope. They played Pusha T's new song, Megan. where he he dissed uh, oh. allegedly dissed Jim Jones. But go ahead. Oh jeez. Megan God. who? Um, Megan the Stallion was present. Oh okay. Megan Date was there. Date free, just there, looking cute, all <laughs> black and denim. Uh, Willow and Jaden Smith were there in Louis Vuitton. Indeed. Um, who else was there? June Ambrose was there looking great. Zendaya. Or Tyler, Z- the creator, was there. Mm-hmm. Zendaya, I'm sorry, was there looking fantastic with Law Roach rocking the Louis. It's amazing, you know, the relationship that black people got with Louis Vuitton. Mm-hmm. Black folks will wear some Louis Vuitton. They will create some Louis Vuitton attire that no didn't exist before. Um but just the the love of Louis Vuitton. Yeah, you know, and, and in general, um, well, it's a deeper thing mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. because black folks are in love with prints, prints like anything prince. with a, a bunch of prints, like you like know, like the Chanel single, the C's, yeah, the C's, the Fendi, the Fendi logos, logos so the mean? Louis, the prints, and and I think the reason is you know a lot of us come from nothing, so when we get the opportunity to show people that we quote unquote got it mm-hmm. whether we do or not mm-hmm. we have to you, everyone has to know that I have on Louis you have to know that I have on Gucci so I want the most prints you can possibly put on a product I think that really has something to do with it you think? yes I do I really do really? yes I really do I don't know we all the MCM prints it had like these these brands offer Non super printed up stuff. That's the stuff I want. To we don't with. prefer that. Uh, that's the stuff I prefer. Right, but you know, you know, what I'm saying we in general as black folks, mm-hmm. we don't seem to prefer that. We want the stuff with the prints all over it, so everybody knows this is a Louis bag. Okay. These is this is a Louis jacket. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I think there's a deeper thing to that. <sighs> We're gonna, uh, we don't have to go super serious. We're gonna unpack some slavery. No, we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that okay. at all. We don't have to do that. But I just okay. think it ties into something a little yeah. deeper and whatever. Maybe we can talk talk about that on another pod. I think we're just having fun today. Okay, if because if we're logo heavy, then we're logo heavy. I'm just I've never been a logo heavy person. Yeah, me I either. don't like to even wear something with a name on it. I don't want you to even know what it is. Yeah, I can do that. I just want to wear it and look cute in it. 
And maybe there's a tag on the inside that says who it is, and nobody ever has to. You don't have to know. You don't have to know. Or just simple little B. I got the simple little yeah. B on the side of my sneaker. Yeah. Yes, it's Bally. You're yeah. like that. Look like it might be Bally, and you're you're right, but you yeah. don't really know. Yeah, you don't. But that's interesting. And not knocking anybody who want to no. want to wear a bunch of prints. Go for it, man. Yeah, but I want the shit that you can't see. Yeah, you, you know, don't know what it is. Little, little, a little more low key. A lot more low key. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So Hove performed. Yeah, he did that song, and he hasn't performed that song in, in forever. Yeah, that's the joint right there. Yeah, and it made me, you know, he was out there. He had a, a tuxedo on, and then he just threw a Louis jacket over it, another yeah, like jacket just over his shoulders. You know what I'm saying? And it made me think about and bring up to my friends how Hove has a mythical status. He's a he has a mythical status ab- about him. Like Beyonce? No, not like Beyonce. Cause she got one too. Like Hove. I'm talking about Hove. Like in hip hop. Hove is hip hop. He's a rapper. Mm-hmm. And in hip hop and just anywhere, because Beyonce comes out with projects. She comes out with albums however many years apart. Mm-hmm. She she's touring world touring all the time. She's a very active artist. But she goes into hiding. This is not about comparing Hove and Beyonce. I mean, oh. Beyonce got her own thing. That's cool. But I'm talking about Hove, right? Okay. Hove, this mythical status. Like, he, he comes out of hiding once every now and then, drops one verse on somebody's song a year. Mm. It goes crazy. Everybody talks about it. They go crazy about it. And it's just like this magnetic mythical status. You don't you don't believe you don't understand that? Or you don't believe, uh, uh, agree with that? Unpopular opinion, maybe Hove is overrated. Hope overrated. How's that? How does that tie into the mythical status? What are we talking about? He's making him more than he is. He's just a dude. Like he's okay. He don't come out. I mean, if you want to, if you want to try to call him God, yeah, yeah, you're overrating him. But as an MC, you talking about what are you? What are we talking about here? I don't know. Just saying. You just you just trying to get a hot take right now? Yeah, maybe he's overrated. <laughs> maybe he's overrated. That's a personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? So it's a personal opinion. But do you not agree? So you don't agree that he seems to have. I'm not saying he's he's a mythical being. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that the way people look at him and applaud him and just revere him, whenever he shows up, it does. He doesn't. He doesn't show up often. Mm-hmm. And when he shows up, people go crazy. And it's like some kind of special thing every time he shows up. I'm not saying I feel this way. I'm saying that I observe. His movements and the way people respond to him. You know what? I probably have not paid attention. Mm. I don't know what that's about. I just haven't paid attention. Okay. Well, you yeah. have no opinion on that, then. Yeah. I mean, I saw, I saw, I see how when the clips come out and of him performing and everybody loses their shit and all of that stuff and they're screaming and stuff. And I understand it's probably a once in a lifetime experience that you might never have again. You're in Cannes, you're in France, and here comes Hove and Beyonce standing on the side and. It's this thing, but I never really looked at it. I don't know. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's he. Um, let me add on to it. Okay. All right, because you know I watch a, a, a lot of podcasts in the hip hop arena. Uh-huh. Um, the way people talk about whole oh, rappers, other rappers, uh-huh. the way they revere him, his name, they don't play with his name. Okay. The way they value his time. Remember, I was telling you the, yeah. the Benny story about how he went out to LA to talk to Hove, mm-hmm. and it took three days before he can even see him. Then when he see him, he didn't even bring up why he was there until like way into the, the conversation, and, he and then he had to go. And it's like okay. he has this level of respect within the hip hop community that's almost, in my opinion, mm-hmm. seems to be almost mythical. Okay. So yeah, that's where I'm coming from with okay. that. I could dig it. I, I can dig it. Overrated. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, like the, you know, just the whole, whole, uh, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You know what? But. Uh, no, nah, go ahead. Many, get, us, get us. In many. In get us shut down. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> in many instances of hip hop what happens is the fans the uh the 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 zealots 
<laughs> they overplay the lyrics. They overplay the songs. They regurgitate. They ingest. They they do all of these things, in, and it becomes a bit of, a, of an obsession. And people then start to, like, drink the Kool-Aid. And they think, like, yeah, he's uh, he's off. When you say people drinking the Kool-Aid, like the, the fans and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's true. That, ha- that can happen. Yeah. And I'm sure that happens with a lot of folks. Yeah. Even with Hove. Um, overrated? I would never use that, okay. that word to describe Hove. Okay. That guy has done a lot in hip-hop. He's proven... On okay. the mic, skill wise, okay. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's proven business wise in okay. hip hop. You made some great you know decisions, great financial decisions. Some alignments. Married up well. He married well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. It wasn't marrying up when he married her. It just they just got married. I don't know if either one of them was at some crazy status. Yeah. They were both she was doing. A mega star, then. They were doing good. He was, he was. Why do we have to compare Hov and B? I was just saying she was a mega star then. Yeah, well, wouldn't yeah? She no, she was not a mega star. Yeah, she was. She was doing stadiums then. She when was. she was sixteen. No, when they got married. Not okay. when they started messing with her because we don't want to talk about that. That's a whole <laughs> we don't want to talk about. We don't want to talk about the buzzword grooming. Like, oh my like, god, we grooming! That, are we? No, we're not. We're not going serious today. Okay, cool. Not super serious. All right, because there's Russell Simmons. <laughs> well, that's another topic that's out here. <laughs> Russell Simmons. Um, Happy Father's Day. Daughter and uh, I guess ex, ex-wife mm-hmm. um, formed a calculated attack on Father's Day on Russell Simmons. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. You don't think that was a calculated thing? First it's all, on Father's Day, Trina. Two daughters. One daughter. Who I only saw one. That's why. Right. Okay. So let's get it right. I- Ioki started it. Oh, I'm sorry. Ming said Happy Father's Day to her mother on Father's Day. And then Ioki came out later because she had some interactions with the Russell Simmons. Mm-hmm. And they were traumatizing to her. And this is a child who just recently graduated from Harvard as one of the youngest graduates in Harvard's history at 20 years old. The girl's got a brain. And she decided to air out the dirty laundry of the family and what has been going on with the interactions with her father. Mm. She posted the receipts from WhatsApp and she talked about how she feared that he wasn't mentally well based on the way that he was interacting with her Mm -hmm. and her sister. And she also revealed in the conversation that at some point Russell had recently cut her and her sister off Mm -hmm. like right before the time period of finals in school. Um, And then Kimora then comes on that morning Mm -hmm. of Father's Day and gives some greater context to the conversation of what's been going on. And I think, and I'll bring this from a place of a divorced mom of two girls, that maybe, you know, they've been hiding the drama for maybe a few years and maybe this reached the pinnacle of we fed up with this shit. Type of situation. On Father's Day. On Father's Day. You don't think that was calculated? I don't think it was calculated. I think it was that the daughters said happy Father's Day to their mother because they're pissed off with their father. And that's what happened. So she couldn't just say, hey, ma, happy Father's Day. She had to get online and do it. Well, I mean, these are public people. You want me to try to give you some explanation on rich public people and what they do in public life and life? I'm just saying it's calculated. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. I had no clue what's going on. All that stuff could be true. I'm just mm-hmm. saying that doing that coming out on Father's Day okay. had to be a calculated situation. But why do you think that it was, it was so would it have been better if she did it on Mother's Day? No, I'm not and saying. She said, happy Mother's Day to my mother, who is my mom and my dad all the time. I'm not saying better or worse. Okay. I'm just acknowledging that it was calculated. But maybe it was a trauma response. That just so that? happens to fall on Father's Day. Okay. Maybe. I mean, maybe something traumatic happened. Oh, yeah. I'm not doubting that. I'm not discrediting so, anything that okay, she so said. Okay, so would it have been better if she did it Father's Day Eve? See, you're, you're, you're thinking that I'm saying that okay. it was bad what they did. Uh-huh. All I'm saying is that it happened on Father's Day, and it for me, it comes off as calculated. That doesn't discredit anything that she said. It could all be true. Okay. He could be a complete shitbag. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that 
It was a calculated online attack on Father's Day. They that's calculated. I'm sure that they didn't come to the uh, the odds that they came to the conclusion of how they acknowledged how they felt. It just so happened to come to a climax on that day. I think it's it's pretty slim odds, slim chances. I think when you say the word calculated from a, a woman's perspective on this, it just comes off with a negative connotation. Like they was all huddled up in another room. Like, oh, we're going to get them today. We're going to expose them today. And we're going to do all this on Father's Day. You put, you, that's for anybody who's hearing me say calculated. That's mm-hmm. If you put it, if you put that on it, then that's what you put on it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that they huddled up or anything like that. I'm not saying that they even all got together and said, let's do this on Father's Day. But I'm saying somebody decided that on Father's Day, mm-hmm. I'm, 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 we, I'm here Father's for violence. Day. I fa- I'm, ha- I'm going to say happy Father's Day to my, to my mother. mother online. Because fuck him. Hey man, it's it's still calculated. It's okay. just calculated. That's all. Okay. That's it's all it is. It's it's cool. You know okay. what I'm saying? Right. And and damn, it's it's unfortunate, man. It you know all the stuff that her, his daughter crying like that, um, and saying the things that she said about him, mm-hmm. and how he's been towards her. Mm-hmm. I couldn't imagine being like that towards my child. But you know what? People fall out with their kids, and people fall out with their with their parents. You know what I'm saying? To that degree. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, shit. That's, um, phew. And the it to be going down in public like that is kind of crazy. Mm. But like you said, they are public people. They are public people. They you know are. what I'm saying? They are. Um, it's unfortunate if, you know, a lot of this, as his notes or text messages said, get the money from your mother because she's suing me right now. Or, you know, all that kind of stuff of bringing the kids into the parental issues right. that are going on. Right. Uh, That's whew. unfortunate. Yeah, it is. That's unfortunate. And a, a girl's relationship with her father is already, like, really important because it does impact the other relationships that she has in her life. Right. And just I've watched these little girls over the years or these young women now over the years, and they've always been extremely close with him, Mm -hmm. at least from what we saw presented to us publicly. Right. We cannot confirm or deny whether or not that's the truth. We don't know what the truth is. We don't know what the truth is. We don't know what the truth is. We absolutely don't. And it's just unfortunate in situations like this of divorce where, you know, things get ugly or when people, you know, get to a certain age or parents get to a certain age and, mm-hmm. and shit is going on and <clears throat> rich kids and all that kind of stuff. Um, and what's also unfortunate that I've seen is the attacks that other men have placed on these girls. Mm, on they're attacking Iopi, the daughters? Coming on her Instagram pages, coming on her TikTok pages and calling her entitled or Twitter pages, well, that's the internet. calling her, you know, black men telling her, oh, you're entitled, spoiled girl. I'm standing up for Russ. And what did y'all do to him to make him cut y'all off? And oh. Let, let's be let's be clear, though, Trina. Mm-hmm. We don't know who those people are. We, those can that can be uh, somebody who's coming off as a black man. That's a, a 15 year old white kid in Wisconsin. Bots, bots, all, all types of shit, man. Like the internet is so it's just it's crazy. You don't know. The internet is 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 trash. It is trash. It's, it's horrible. Unre- unregulated trash. Yeah, everyone has an opinion um, out there. I um, think the other parts to the story because I did watch the Instagram lives. Um, was Ayoki speaking to the fact that her father told her? Nobody's gonna believe you if you say this about me. Mm. And she said he said that. Mm-hmm. Mm. And she I also don't. said that he told her he would ruin her modeling career. He would make sure that she did not have a modeling career. But that's fucked up because of who he is and his connections. Listen, that's fucked up. But I don't know if he said those things. Then mm-hmm. I would I would say that he is um, overestimating his credibility in the world because it's some shit that's that's come out about russ over the years man it's not it's not a good look you know what i'm saying so 
um, no one would believe you. Eh, I, I beg to differ. I and beg I to think, differ. And I think that has a lot to do with the frustration of these young women and Ayoki coming forward and saying, like her providing the receipts and posting the WhatsApp conversations yeah. to prove that he and the was video saying, of him yelling, but she yeah, didn't put the, the video, volume on there. She couldn't figure out how to get the volume. Oh, on. she couldn't. That's yeah, what it she was. Said she couldn't figure out <laughs> him calling Kimora a piece of shit, you know, in the text messages to her, and her saying to him, you know, I can't, I don't, I don't have nothing to do with this legal case. This has nothing to do with me. So why are you talking to me about this? Mm-mm-mm. And the girl saying that they've been threatened by him, mm. and the I guess the rumor about him having someone come. To the older daughter, Ming, to uh, you know, sign over her, her inheritance back to him. Uh, you know, just very messy, very unfortunate, very <sighs> like just not cool. Hey man, prayers up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying to everybody yeah. involved. Yo, Given like, the history, sometimes think things get so bad between the the um, parents that you can no longer not keep the kids in, involved. That like, they end up. Just being in the middle of things because it gets that messy is what I'm saying. Yeah, that's a hot ass. Then they have, then they have some issues with uh, her Kamora's other exactly. her, her husband or whatever, that and some Chelsea's some money deal. that uh, yeah, yeah. This Didn't thing. Russell's money get like stolen or something? Apparently, there's he's saying that she stole his like twenty two million or something. His shares of money, and this is why he's broke. But then Kimora's coming out saying, you know, she's bailed him out of several failed investments and business failures and low cash flow she's her company has bailed him out on multiple occasions for hundreds of thousands of millions that's believable of that's believable I mean, people with money people, yeah you know, yeah they hook each other. move back and forth need, i'm not liquid right now can i get fifty thousand? right you right, know, <laughs> right. Like yeah drop well, 500 real yeah, quick I'm, I'm not liquid right now. right i need to make payroll <laughs> can you slide look at you with your rich people jargon hey because i have i'm plans. not liquid I have plans on being rich. I'm not liquid. It's not over yet. I'm only 47. It <laughs> yeah, can we still young. happen. We're young. Yes, young. we're young. So, you know, Kimora says she has the receipts that she's been supporting him and bailing him out on multiple instances. Right. And I think she holds the ultimate piece of the accusations of him and young women because he was dating her when she was 15. He right. Was right. Yeah. It's, um, <laughs> that's a, a whole other topic right there. That. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna get into on Shit. this episode of Where's Perch Podcast. Yeah, we're not talking grooming, y'all. We're not talking grooming. Nah, now. man, it's crazy out here. Um, Zion, listen, <laughs> city girls, woo, <laughs> Zion, Zion, my man. <laughs> I hope this new group NBA uh, draft kids does not take any plays. Out of Zion's A.K.A. Book. The Walking Lunchable. <laughs> that boy needs so much counseling right now. Lord have mercy. Ooh, Zion, what buddy. are we doing, Zion? Bye, buddy. Old girl got your name tattooed on her face. On her face. She yo. is going hard in the paint. Zion. Y'all out there, be careful who y'all laying around with, baby. Be careful. Don't be laying it down and spreading it wide for everybody. And don't be diving into <laughs> everybody who want to lay down and spread it wide. <laughs> because you might have somebody jumping on the windshield of your car before you know it. <laughs> I love you. Don't you lie to me, Marcus. <laughs> Yo, what's her name? Maya Mills is Maya, Maya, Mills. Maya. I don't know Maya something, right? I need I need you to do something. I don't know, what? I need you to. I want you to go to your profile on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I want you to de- no, not right now. Oh, not, okay. not right now. Uh-huh. Um, and I want you to DM her and ask her wh- what exactly she did to make him cry when she gave him oral sex. I'm just curious. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't think you want them type of problems. I just want to know what happened. That's all. You want me to get tips? <laughs> no, <nah. laughs> is that what you're saying? You need me to get tips? No, you don't need tips. Are you sure? You need tips. You don't need tips. Get, you want to cry? It, no, you, I'm not crying. To, you sure? I'm not. I'm are not you, Zion. Are you sure? I'm not Zion. Are you sure you want to cry? I'm not crying. You sure? Yeah, I'm just saying. Call her to get the damn tips. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did she do to make him cry? Oh, that boy was crying. Crying. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. And she just put all his business out there. I mean, 
Lord have mercy. How much? He, 100 and something thousand a month? 107 a month. How you come with that number? I don't know, but I'll take it. <laughs> Shit, I'll take it. Straight Shit, up. Shit, I'll take it and be quiet. I'll take it. I, mm-hmm. I think I'm pregnant this month. I'll take it. Mm-hmm. 107? Damn, man. He didn't, did he did he get the family bundle on that? I don't know. Is that the number after or before the family bundle? Oh, that's the number after the tears. <laughs> after 107 the tears. is after the tears. After the laughter comes tears, y'all. 107 a month. A like, month. Where is M-U-N-T. she? M-U-N-T. Mariah Mills. That's her name. Mariah Mills. Mariah Mills. Where you living, boo? 107 a month. Boo, you got to have a lash line, some lip gloss, some kind of business you happening should. with 107 a month. Straight up. You had to invest in yourself. Did you? Something. 107 a month. How many years was she getting it? Was she just getting one year? I don't know, man. A I, don't couple months? No, I don't know. Because 107, know. I'm not trying to mess that up. That's no joke. Well, she ain't had no one? control over it. He's the one who went off and got somebody else pregnant. I know that. You could have just been okay and just, I wouldn't have gone crazy. Okay, you got her pregnant. Okay, I think I'm pregnant too. 107 a month, keep coming. Yeah, because she went she went nuts on him after she found out, I guess, yeah. from what they're what we're seeing that, what she's that he saying. got somebody else pregnant. Well, yeah. yeah, you got this hood rat pregnant and, you know. Maybe he said, hey, look, I can't, I can't do this no more or something. Well, she, she said was, what? He was moving her <laughs> to New Orleans. Apparently. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Dude, Stop. dude, you and you can't be telling all these girls the same thing. Mm. Do you know these girls would DM each other and come up with a new racket on you? It's nasty out there. One oh seven. One oh seven. They said they, they said when they saw him in that crazy outfit he had on. They got was like, God, we got one, y'all. I don't see that hoop in his ear. We like, got one, dude, y'all. you are not Michael Jordan. Why you got them big ass hoops in your ear? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord. Michael Jordan was corny when he did it. Yeah. Now you Big shoulder it. pads and your suits. I just pray, pray, mm. pray, pray, pray for the women. I pray for you. I pray. I pray. I just, I'm so grateful for all the things that I did that were never documented in any type of anything. Because what I see documenting right now. What do you mean you pray for the women? I don't understand. I just I pray for the women to just get some level of 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 control with their anger and their outbursts and and for the hoeing that they do that they could do it on a different level that it had doesn't have to be out mm. there like this. You know, like do your hoeing on the low. I mean, I think a lot of the hoes do be hoeing on the low. It's just some of the crazy ones that get out there. Why you gotta be? Uh, you, you gotta think this this level of, and I look. I don't know Shorty, mm. uh, and we're using the word crazy. Just you know, we're just having fun over here, right? Yeah. I don't know her mental state or anything like that. Oh, I, we yeah. just know what we see, right? Yeah. So, them, um, them tweets she, is crazy. There's a lot of women out here that already had this level of crazy. Yeah, they just now the internet is just different level, so everybody can. These opinions, all the opinions that we hear out there, people been had these opinions. Now they just have a platform to share them with the world. Twitter. So now a woman who, you know, who just hid in the bushes and slashed some dude's tires in, in, in you know, in Arlington, Virginia. Now she got, she might do that on the internet. And tweet his job. And tweet his job. Like, and you know what I'm saying? Him. Like the internet is just a vehicle for people to share this shit with everybody. Mm. Why? I don't know, man. I can't speak to it. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm just grateful for the wild days that I had of my youth. You keep, you keep, my you 20s. keep. This is your second time bringing up your wild days. Is something you want to tell everybody? I don't need to tell nobody nothing. No. Uh, second, that's why it's back there. And time. don't nobody Pause. know. Right. I'm good. Right. I'm grateful. Okay. That right, is good. not, you know, public information. Well, yeah. We did, we lived in that era where wild things happened and they stayed exactly where they were. Yes. But these days, Ooh. people people even bringing some of that stuff up on people. Mm-hmm. Ain't got on me. I'm not talking about us. I'm just yeah. saying, like out there, you know what I'm saying? People are bringing up old stuff and yeah. saying, you know, trying to cancel people because of it and shit like that. Yeah. It's crazy. It's unfortunate. The internet. Go somewhere, get a life. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's wild out there, man. Man, but nah, this tattoo on the face thing, mm. I don't even understand what that's about because it feel like they ain't together no more. But maybe he's still DMing her, and he's still I love you, and I want to be with you. Maybe no, he said, "Why are you doing this? Yeah. Stop doing this." <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> What's wrong? What's the matter with you? What's wrong with you? Delete Why all you that stuff. This? Delete all that Del- stuff for real. Come on, for real. Just delete, delete that stuff. stuff. FR, we, FR. Yeah, we'll talk about it. <laughs> and I'll send you some money. I'll send you some money yeah. stuff. Lord, see the girl who pregnant is saying nothing. She ain't saying nothing. She ready. She's straight. She's like, I'm good. I'm good. Good. He can go on and I'm argue. just I'm staying stress free. Yeah. This pregnancy is gonna be a good one. Yeah. And go through with the baby coming to this planet. She gonna have that big old baby shower with all them balloons and big ass oversized teddy bears, and he gonna be there. Probably a boy. She gonna name it Baby Zion. She gonna have a good old time. She better save up her chest because that dude. Uh, <laughs> he about to mess up his career. He ain't playing no basketball. He too damn big and fat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So let's we'll see what's going on with his career. <sighs> uh, pray for the young people. I'm just um. Just gallivanting around with my wife, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Minding my damn business, yo. Woo, Lord. You want to talk to the people, man, about uh-huh. the art of gallivanting? Oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this next segment is brought to you by gallivanting. <laughs> right. Can I get the Tinkerbell? Oh, the, uh. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. In your home city or city that you may go on vacation to you must take a moment to gallivant what does that mean and to gallivant means the art of pursuing enjoyment and entertainment from Mm. place to place yes yes gotta be multiple places at least three right i think yeah at least three didn't give a number but that's what you should do so we like to partake in gallivanting every once in a while. It means we might have like one place we definitely want to hit. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of the time, it just f- you just free flow whichever way we go. Whichever way the wind blows. Whichever way the wind takes <laughs> us. We just go and we just do it. So last weekend, we decided to have a gallivanting day during the long weekend. And we were just out in the street in D.C. We just we started out at Call Your Mother. Mm-hmm. Jewish Deli. Jewish Deli. Got some breakfast sandwiches. Pastrami. You know what I'm saying? Egg and cheese on a bagel. Okay. And Sesame. I got a bacon and egg. Bacon, egg, and avocado on an everything bagel. And a little coffee. Mm-hmm. And then we walked back up the street. Like we were going to the car. And then we found a rum bar. You found it. I found it. Said, "What is this?" What is it was this? a sign was- on the sidewalk with an arrow <laughs> yeah. pointing to some, to some dark ass like, stairwell. Here, it's like, well, <laughs> let's go in there. Kind of looks like a vampire cave, <laughs> but I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go see it. I definitely felt like the white people in horror movies right there. Yeah. Let's go down here in the dark ass alley. Yeah, <laughs> we don't know where this is taking us. And we might die, but I want to see. <laughs> So we, oh, we walk in and the, the waiter is like, oh, I'm going to take you to the garden. And also my like, garden, garden where? We're underneath the hotel. We're underneath Mind the hotel you. and it is dark. And it, the, cavernous. It's cavernous. It's windy, turning, all this stuff. And we end up in a bar that's like huge. And then we see, you can see the outside, you can see light glaring in, and boom, we're out in a garden. It's like an Amazonian vibe almost, yeah, right? Plants like plants and stuff, and, and lights, and stone, and skylights steel and beams, and all kind of shit. Skylight, yeah, it was, it was uh, ill, it was yo. Great. A whole hidden situation. Never heard of this place before. Costa. Joe, Joe knew about it. Costas. Yeah, Joe, oh yeah, oh, I've been no. there. I'm like, dude. He don't even drink. Just do it. Yeah, we'll talk about that another time. Okay, Joe. rum bar, Costas. And we sat there, and they gave us the, you know, the spiel. You can smoke cigars here. Yeah, it was and dope. Have brunch and blah blah blah. And we the had some food drinks. was looking crazy. The menu looks insane, and I want to go back. Yeah, and we'll eat go back. Some of that. We'll, we'll report on the brunch situation at Casas. Absolutely, we're gonna experience that. We left there. Where did we? Where did we go after that? Um, did we go straight to Georgetown? We went to Georgetown. And, and went to Ducky. Yeah, we went over to Major, mm-hmm. hung out at Major, talked to Ducky and Yoon, yeah. loved them. That's family. Hey, Ducky. Hey, Ducky yeah. and Yoon. We did not. Up. We did not get any sneakers. But I did. I did cop a hat though. But he did cop Ill. a hat. I like the um. What is it? Is it Major Track and Tripping Trip Trap Trap and Field Trap and Field Trap and Field. I like dope. that. I like uh, the sweatshirts and all that kind of stuff. Those are in the store. Check them out. Yeah, major man, major. and uh, so we left there, and then we went down to the water in Georgetown. Oh, one in you are, no, 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 no! You sound way too good compared to that guy. Of 
<laughs> there was a there was a street singer. Yes, Lord. Down at the water, <laughs> we were just chilling for a while. We were just people. It was quiet. Stuff like that. It was we dope. Were looking at people on yeah. yachts. We saw a homeboy setting up his speakers and stuff. Yeah. Just, oh, I think he's about to sing. He started off with Lufa, didn't he? He started off with Lufa. And I was like, wow. I was like. Lufa is a bit aggressive for the that first That was time. very aggressive. <laughs> Ambitious. Man, listen. <laughs> do, 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 Shout do, out to do. anybody who gets on a microphone and speaker mm-hmm. system on the street and sing in front of people. Mm-hmm. Shout out to anybody pursuing their passion. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. However, Comma. <laughs> this dude was chopping these songs to bits, and it was the most entertaining thing really for us two sitting on the bench in in uh, Georgetown by the water in the heat. All it I needed, was hilarious. All yo. I needed was a cup of wine, okay, a plastic cup of wine. Oh my god! Yeah, I would have sat there for a little while longer just, yeah. to, just to see him hit the yeah. notes. Oh man, it was something. So, <laughs> so after <laughs> we sat there, we had a good time for a while. People watching. It was a great it was, time. It was really cool. We like doing that. We like people watching. Though. Yeah, we like people watching and just sitting outside. Like, just feels great. I yeah, love being great. outside. It's great. And it was the temperature was just right. It wasn't humid. It wasn't sticky icky. Mm-hmm. It was great. Mm-hmm. And, and then we proceeded back up the hill. Yes. He the, gave me a workout. The meter maids is out heavy, oh, so we had no. to get back to the car. Let me tell you that the one thing about gallivanting you need to be aware of is parking. Yeah. Because they will ticket you. We didn't know we had we didn't pay for parking that whole day. We sure did. It was dope, did. right? That was great. We crushed that. We did. So we we left there. Where do we go? Did we just go home after that? No, no, no. Where do we, we go? Went to view. You took me to Oh the shoot, no, bar. I took you to um, Crimson, Crimson Whiskey Bar. View. I said yeah, crim- yeah, crimson, yeah. crimson view. So he took me to a rooftop, y'all. Yeah. Now, if you're gonna gallivant, you gotta end on a rooftop, a rooftop with drinks overlooking the city. That's a nice touch. You don't have to do that, y'all. Don't listen to her. Do it. <laughs> but do it though. <laughs> do it. Do it. Find a yeah, we did go to Crimson to have a um, what's the what's those slushies called? A ro- a frosé. Frosés. Yeah, we had some frosés on the rooftop. I had a New York sour. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it was great. Nice rooftop rooftop vibes. That was fun. Rooftop. It was fun. It was fun. It was a good time. Yeah, and and um. And then we then we left there and went back to Virginia. And then we came home. Yeah. And then we got on the rooftop and gallivanted we, some more. Some, <laughs> we got on our own rooftop. We got the rosé. Yeah. And we did rooftops and rosé at home. Good t- good stuff, yo. A great day of gallivanting. Gallivanting is important for us. I think we have a really good time when we do that. I think we do. We we have more fun. We see more things. We meet more people. Mm-hmm. And we just like just chill. And yeah, you freestyle time. it. Plans are good. Of yes. course, you know you want to do that. Reservations for dinner, so on and so forth, whatever. But just um, having maybe one or two, like you said, solid places that you want to visit. Because we had two, we had two or three spots. Remember, we wanted to go to the uh, the view of DC place, and we wanted to go shoot pool. But but the pool hall, the the, the timing just didn't work out. Yeah, timing didn't work. So we had to just improvise and go do some do some other stuff. And then I was tired, like, ooh, I'm bringing home. Then the, uh, there's always that. Listen, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Time to shut it down you and get know, back to the house. I'm over 40. <laughs> okay? I'm almost 50. <laughs> mm-hmm. Keep trying to tell y'all. I, I just want to give a shout out to Larsa Pippen, City Girls Up. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> City Girls Up. She got Scotty money, yo. She shout got Scotty Lar- money. Shout out to Larsa Pippen for playing a long game. Oh, man. Is that what she doing? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> she got it. But then you the say she glamorous life. How many kids ooh, she got with him, you said? Was it three or four? Three or four kids with him? Yeah, she produced the NBA player. One of them is in the NBA. Right, right. Yeah, shout out to Larsa Pippen. Yeah, she got that bread. That's how you do it, girl. That's how you do it? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's, what's you try when you need him? <laughs> Why you have to play his ass? Cause he uh yeah he was Gucci flip flops whatever. Cause he Gucci flip flopped her. Hey listen, <laughs> but it's all right. City girls up. Scotty a nut anyway. Listen. Nobody feeling no sympathy for Scotty Pepper. Hey listen, out there talk about Michael Jordan's bum and shit. Hey like, listen, come on, what's wrong with you man? Listen, you looking crazy out here in the light. Listen, 
All I know is Larsa said, cut the check. She got him. <laughs> she got him. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. So speaking of, June is Men's Mental Health Month. Okay. Shout out to all the all the guys out there, man. Yeah. What's today? Today is uh, June 24th. Damn, it's this almost is, the end of the month. This is when I, f- I found out about it on June 24th. I didn't hear anything about that all month. You didn't even know this was a thing, did you? No, all I know is June is Black Music Month. Yeah, June is also Pride Month, apparently. Oh, yes. We right? About the Pride. And June is Men's uh, Mental Health Month. Wow. So why doesn't anyone talk about that? Why do you think that? We don't got to serious this. No, we don't. You know what? Let's not serious this out. Let's not serious this out. Is that men don't want to take care of their mental health? Y'all don't want to go talk to nobody about y'all shit. Um, I think that's changing a lot. Changing a lot. I hope so. I mean, you see it. You see it right in front of you. I mean, there's vulnerability more. Um, there is more of a discussion about it. Way more. Way more. Way more than before. But I think that there's still generations ahead of us. Who need it and won't get it? Yeah, that's that's true. And some maybe they're they're gone. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's not the people that we're trying to, you know, reach out to and whatnot. But um, even if even if men are not wanting to get the help or talk to people, it's still other people that could say, "Hey, is men's mm-hmm. mental health month?" Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? People who are more aware, are more in tune with with talking things out and mm-hmm. and you know mental health and stuff like that like we, we talk about all these months you know it's cancer awareness all these different things whatever you never i didn't even know this was a thing I didn't how long either. has this been a thing i have no idea but you know there's that website like they have blackgirldoctors.org or something mm-hmm. there's a website i think they have the same thing for men to find therapists okay well, good that's a good thing Therapy for black men dot org. That's mm, what it is. Therapy for black men dot org. Therapy for black men dot Hopefully we haven't we haven't vetted this. So um, hopefully it's legit. American psychologist, therapist. What did you say? Um strength still needs support. As mentioned on CNN, Huffington mm-hmm. Post, very well mined. Um rapidly growing directory of 411 therapists 411 therapists 43 coaches throughout the 50 states thus far we are here to provide judgment-free multiculturally competent care for black men good they have raised over eighty five thousand dollars with the help of generous donors it to, and proud to support the mission of providing free therapy services for men across the United States. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Shout out to them. Yeah. Shout out to Tuna Fork, too. Tuna Fork. Shout out to Tuna Fork. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Shout out to Bashay Williams, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing good things out there, man. It's good. Yeah. Um, so, we got to get in touch with things and, and um, try to change, you know, our trajectory from where we came from absolutely and so we'll leave it at that so that's good stuff. i just want to shout that out man shout out that uh, men's mental health month june so next next june we'll be ready yeah you know what I'm saying? Have somebody on next june oh for sure for sure kick it off since we ain't finding about it until the dog on 24th of the right month. right because this is our last show in june so that's a wrap and it might be the last show for a little bit because we're trying to. I don't. Know, we'll see how things go. Next we're trying to remodel our this yeah. room. We didn't get started on today like we yeah. wanted to, so we got some remodeling to do and mm-hmm. working on some things, whatever. And we got family coming, like we said earlier, and all that mm-hmm. good stuff. So we'll see, man. So yeah. anyway, good pod, man. Fun, fun, fun. You're a controversial person over there. Me? Who? Controversial. What? You know. What? Gotta watch you, man. No way. How am I controversial? <laughs> Yo, this admit it. You ready to get in some sweats and chill on the couch, right? Oh my gosh, I'm ready to take these shorts off. <laughs> oh my 
Oh, man, I'm ready to relax too. Yeah, we got boxing tonight. Hey, who's fighting? I don't know. It's it's a bunch of dudes. I don't know, but it looks it looks like an exciting card. Hey, it's not gonna be like Adrian Bronson. <laughs> hey, yo. Lord have mercy. Who, if y'all ever get a chance to watch Adrian Bronner's last fight that he had, watch it all the way to the end. He Please. fought. He fought in the in the Aldi grocery store um, <laughs> arena. The, uh, not no, uh, the actual grocery store. They they moved some stuff out of the way. Oh my god! You can see cars driving by. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all, if y'all get a chance, please watch. Hey man, what's what's and Don King? Oh my gosh, Adrian Bronner and Don King or Broner, Don Bronner, whatever. Yeah. And Don King, I thought Don ninety one years old, right? This is ninety one. Yeah, right? ninety one. I thought he was dead. Well, you know, good. Yes. He's, he's, still he's still working. Kicking. Still kicking. Working. Standing. He promoted this fight. Hair still standing up, y'all. They made that ninety one year old man get in out of that ring, in and out of that ring two Twice. times. And I was like, who the hell is in charge of this? This is not a good idea. That's not good. It's not. It's too much for his body. He still got the jean jacket. The jean jacket. He still got a chain, y'all. He still got the chains on. He got the chain. He still got the American flag. He's still waving a flag. Waving it. And smiling. And smiling. I was like, that's Don King, yo. And Adrian Broner. <laughs> Ooh. And if you want another laugh. Watch the Floyd Mayweather fight. The Zeus. Floyd Mayweather exhibition fight with Mafia son. John Gotti the, the third. third. Listen, on Zeus, that should tell you right there what's going to happen. Adrian Brown, uh, not excuse me, Floyd Mayweather, TMT, a.k.a. BMF. BMF. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because they Listen. went ape nuts in that ring. Listen. It wasn't their, it wasn't their fault. They their, the Gotti the Gotti kid started it. Yeah, it, it, true. It was just something like it was something like you couldn't believe you were watching it. Mm -hmm. Like we were laying, we were in bed like we, we couldn't turn it off. We were about to. We were it's on a Sunday. Like, Wait a minute, what the hell is going we on? We couldn't turn it off. Like, yo, this is amazing. But wait, shout out to the ringside analysis who dipped the, as soon as it started. Shout out to them, yo. What's that dude yeah. name? What's the black guy name? Uh, Antonio Tarver. Antonio Tarver was like, we got to go. We got to go. Antonio Tarver went to the back and filmed um, that chick beating Jocelyn up the other chick. Jocelyn beating up Big Lex. Yo, they need to get her on the card. Listen. She was throwing no, them hands. She was going to jail. You doing Whew. stuff like that. No, I'm whoa. Tell you now, we don't want no problems with you, Shorty. Well, I'm telling you, come at me. I'm, hey, I'm calling the police. <laughs> On speed dial. You tell me on site, oh, call the police. Shoot. Hilarious. Calling man. the police. Snitching, calling, they whatever. No Detector, your honor, all those things. I'm calling the police. You're not touching me. Is wait, the person wait. who hit you in this? Yes. Yes, yes right, right there. Right there. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. Oh, man. Yo, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, my love. Love you. I love you more. I think we're done here. Are we done? I think we're done. We're not done. We're done. We're not done. I'm about to hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be good out there, man. Thank you guys Weird for listening. Podcast. We appreciate it. Like I said, please like, comment, subscribe, and um, give us a holler. Let us know what you liked about the, con the conversation today. Y'all be good. Later.